Today we're going to show how to use the IDChamp RS3 with the RS3 NFC setup app on Android to get it to read a HID prox card. Here you can see the number that we're looking for, the ID number. And the IDChamp RS3 can read a wide range of cards, so you need to make sure to configure it to get the correct output. So here I'll open the RS3 setup app, turn on the reader, tap the menu button in the upper right, and go to select device. Here you can see the RS3 BLE name up at the top. Tap on that to connect. And then on the RS3 you'll see this yellow light indicates data transmission, so it's reading the engine configuration settings. And then here you'll see the RS3 setup app displays all the information about this reader. So here I have, I can select which engine, the RS3 NF has two different engines, so here we're going to be on NFC1. And then card type is the type of card I want to read. As you can see, the RS3 can read a wide range of cards. If you're unsure which card you have, uh, contact Serial I.O. or your card provider. Uh, we have an HID Prox card, so that's what I'm going to select here from the list. You then have these different tabs at the top. Uh, device info shows everything about the RS3, data format, uh, timing, and delimiters. And these are going to affect the output of the card read. So here on data format you see the bit count. Uh, this is the number of bits that it'll read off the card. Uh, and there's lots of different uh, options here. And again you'll need to know how many bits your card is to make sure that you get the right output. And so now we'll test our card. You can see I get 63037, which is not the number that I want. So I need to change the bit count to match what this card is. This one happens to be a 24-bit card. So I'll set it to 24. I'll hit the Command button up here. That writes the settings to the ID champ. Tap that same card, and there you have it. I get the correct ID number. If you need any help setting up your IDChamp RS3 to read your access control cards or any RFID cards, contact Serial.io and thanks for watching.